Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you another spring cleaning video. We are going to be doing some spring deep cleaning in the living room today. This was also the day after Easter so there are tons of messes around my home that need to be cleaned. You will see throughout this video that my house was a total disaster. There was presents and Easter fun in pretty much every corner, so we're gonna be tackling all of that. But we are going to be starting off in the living room. I just wanted to light a candle to help get myself motivated, and then we are starting off by moving the couch. I did this probably about six months ago, but the way this couch accumulates junk and toys and garbage and everything else underneath it is insane. And and this day was probably one of the worst I have ever seen it. I could not believe all of the stuff underneath here. So we're going to be moving all of the pieces and then starting on tackling just pretty much throwing it all out. I really didn't keep a lot of stuff. I feel like if it has sat underneath the couch this entire time and we haven't noticed it missing, it's probably good to go in the garbage without any of my kids noticing. So I do keep a few things like the dishes and some gloves and socks that have fallen underneath here, but for the most part, we are throwing it all away. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. So I'm just giving you a quick overview clip of all of the stuff that has accumulated underneath here and as you can see it is a ton of things. I just don't know how this happens. I think a big part of it for me is our couches don't lock together so things can just fall between the cracks and they just go right onto the floor. So that is what I'm going to tell myself because I really don't have an excuse otherwise for why it gets this bad so quickly. But you will see me here just grabbing a few things. These were the few toys that I was going to keep that went with a bigger set or things I know my kids play with. Then I'm going to grab the few bowls that were left under here and then I'm going to come in with a green garbage bag and you will just see me throw the rest of the stuff into there and that just went straight into the trash. After I picked up all of the larger pieces, I was still left with a ton of dog fur and crumbs and dirt. So that is what I am showing you here. I am also going to show you a clip of the baseboard because it was very dirty and dusty as well. So we're going to give this a quick wipe down before we start vacuuming and mopping this entire area. Work it out. You like alpha and omega. I was taking on some pretty big cleaning tasks this day, so while I was filming this video, I did need quite a few breaks, and my favorite way to spend my break is playing Love and Pies. I have been hearing a ton of great things about this game, and you guys know I love a good game, so I was really excited to try it out for myself. And thank you to Love and Pies for sponsoring today's video. Love and Pies has become my new daily me time and I am always looking forward to playing this game. It is so easy to pick up and play at any time and I always find myself opening the game when I am taking a break in between cleaning tasks or when I have a free moment to myself. Love and Pies is a merge game, but not just any merge game. It is full of secrets and gossip and mystery that will keep you coming back and wanting more. 
The game revolves around a single mom named Amelia who has taken over her mom's burnt down cafe. Throughout the game, you have to redecorate and build a thriving business while also unraveling the mystery surrounding her mom's disappearance and the cafe's fire. You get to different levels by merging ingredients to create baked goods that you have to then serve to your customers. With the tips earned, you can then fund all of the new upgrades and decor for your cafe. I love that they have different options to choose from when it comes to the upgrades so you can really make it your own and my cafe is turning out to be very adorable. You guys know I love decorating my own home so being able to customize and design my own little cafe has been so much fun for me and the secrets and mystery keep me coming back because I cannot wait to find out what happens next. Love and Pies is so different from any other game that I have played and it does have over 4.5 million downloads and I can definitely see why. It is so much fun and just such a great way to keep you entertained and I know you guys are really going to enjoy this one. Love and Pies is also completely free to download and I will have my link down below in the description box so come and join the fun and download Love and Pies today. Whenever I move my couch and clean this area, I do like to move my area rug around as well. So I just flip it around so it keeps the entire rug looking as even as possible. I feel like if I don't do this, the area that the couch sits on stays nice and white and perfect and fluffy. And then the part that we walk on, of course, gets a lot more worn out. So by flipping it around each time I do this, I just feel like it keeps it more even in case I ever put this area rug in a different room. Oh, you, you tell me that I made you think if we have something special more than happy drinks, you'll go. I did originally plan on getting my carpet cleaner out and giving my area rug a deep clean with my carpet cleaner, but the only reason I decided against it is because we are in the worst time for that right now with it being spring and muddy and wet. My dogs are constantly bringing in wet, muddy dog footprints, and if I clean the carpet now, it will be muddy by dinner time. So I decided to just wait it out. It isn't going to be too long until my yard starts drying up so the next time I do this probably in the next month or so I will make sure to drag my carpet cleaner out and give it a good deep clean I'm acting surprised but I know I'm not over you I keep missing a fight even though this over we had a fire now we're watching it burn I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. Ooh, ooh, I feel like, ooh, ooh, I feel like demons in my mind, demons, demons in my mind. Ooh, ooh, it tastes like, ooh, ooh, it tastes like demons in my mind. 
So now we are going to be moving on to the kitchen and the dining room. And as you can see from these clips, it was an absolute disaster in here. All of my kitchen cabinets were also left open. So we are going to be making sure we are shutting those. Something about kitchen cabinets being open drives me nuts and my husband is the king of leaving them open. But this is the next day as well. You will notice I'm wearing a different outfit and this took me so much longer to clean than I originally thought, but it felt so good to get done. Every time there is a holiday like Easter or Christmas, my house takes such a hit. I feel like I like to just spend time in the moment and enjoy all of the festivities with my kids and I don't worry about cleaning up, but I always pay for it the next day. I don't know if anyone else is feeling like this or if it's just the time of year, but I have just been feeling in a major slump and I am feeling like I am just so far behind when it comes to everything that has to do with my home. I have so many areas to clean and so many areas to organize. We have big projects that are needing to be done and I just feel like I just don't have it in me right now. But then it stresses me out even more because we're not getting stuff accomplished and I'm not checking things off my list that need to get done. And then it just kind of sends me in a spiral. Justin and I have actually both been feeling pretty unmotivated and I don't know if it's the time of year because I do have a couple friends who have been saying the same that they they just don't have the extra energy or the motivation to get things done but I am hoping now that summer is approaching that the fog will start to lift because I will say I have started to feel a lot more productive just this past week so I'm trying to ride the wave of having the energy and I'm hoping to tackle some of the stuff on my list because it honestly it just makes me feel a lot more overwhelmed and I feel worse when it's not getting done and I know I'm the only one who can change it but I don't know what the purpose of this rant is. I just wanted to put it out there in case anyone else is feeling the same way. I just feel like there is always something to do and something to be done. And you would think with my job being cleaning on YouTube that I would just have a clean house at all times, but that could not be further from the truth. I feel like I am in a constant state of mess around here. So the bigger projects don't get done because there's always daily cleaning to be done and it's just a vicious cycle. So if you feel like that too, just know you are definitely not alone. So I am still wanting to paint my cabinets white, but the biggest holdup on it is how much companies are charging to do it. I think I told you probably a couple months ago in a video that we got quoted around $6,100 to do it. And I just don't think I can bring myself to pay $6,000 to get my cupboards painted professionally. The reason we are wanting to do it professionally as well is because one, I want it to hold up. I want it to look the best it can look. And this is not something we have ever tackled before. We have tackled a ton of projects around our home, but I feel like cabinets are a lot different than painting a wall. And two, I feel like to be honest, I don't really have the time or the patience in this stage of life right now. I do have three kids, six and under, and two dogs. And I don't know if we would have the time or 
really the resources to work around all of the kids and the dogs. It would take us months. I think it would be really hard to do ourselves and we just, I just don't think we could do it. Whereas if we hired out professionally, they would be in and out in probably about four days. But if we did it, I honestly think it could take a month or longer and that just sounds chaotic. But we will see. It's something we are sitting on. I would love to only pay a couple hundred bucks and do it ourselves. But just in this season of life, I just don't know if that's an option for us right now. to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before Justin and I are actually going to be sneaking off for a little couple getaway for two nights next week and I am so excited about it. I could not tell you the last time we spent a night away from the kids. We are homebodies but we are going to be going away to a city a couple hours away from us just as a little getaway. My mom's gonna be staying at our house with the kids and the dogs. She's really taken one for the team and holding down the fort for us so we can have a little 48 hour adventure. And I am, like I said, really looking forward to it. We both love to eat, so I am so excited to try some new restaurants. We are also going to try crumble cookie. We have never tried crumble cookie before. We don't really have them in Canada, so I'm really excited to do that and get some shopping done. We might go to a late night movie and just enjoy each other's company. So I'm really looking forward to that. Like I said, it's not something we do very often at all, but I am that type of mom that the second we leave the house and we leave the kids, I cannot wait to get back to them. I miss them so much and I worry the whole time and I'm just definitely a helicopter parent, but I know it's much needed and it's good for all of us and I know they're gonna have so much fun with my mom. So it's gonna be great. And I'm excited, but I always have that little bit of guilt whenever we do something without them. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, my floors have been taking a hit with it being springtime and I will show you a quick overview of them here. We are going to be vacuuming and mopping all of my floors because of course, additional to all of the wet, muddy dog prints, we do have crumbs and dirt all over them. I 
I did have to stop and take a quick break mid vacuuming because my parents did stop by. They actually just live right down the street from us and they wanted to come and bring the kids some Easter presents. So that's who you just saw in the clip previously. And as you can see, there is already a brand new mess for me to clean up on the island. Since I did focus on cleaning the living room yesterday and I had already vacuumed and mopped in there, I am just going to be doing the kitchen and the dining room floors today. So the last area that we are going to be tackling in today's video is my master bedroom and of course it is a mess and my dresser has accumulated a ton of stuff. This is where I put pretty much everything that I take away from Mac because he can't reach it and I am constantly taking things out of his mouth. He is always grabbing socks and toys and pillows and just all of the things he can't have but loves to chew on. Also, let me know down below if when it comes to fitted sheets, you just kind of use the roll method. That's how I fold a fitted sheet. I know there is much better and more proper ways to fold these, but I find this actually works pretty well and it is very non-time consuming. <laughs> So a couple of months ago, I finally purchased decorative pillows for my bed. They actually matched the green throw that is currently on top of the bed. Well, Mac chewed two out of three of them, so I tried. And now I don't have anything pretty on my bed because I only have one left. And of course, that doesn't really work. So I guess I may purchase some more maybe down the road when he's a little bigger, or I might just put them up when he is out and about and awake. He, of course, should not be on the bed and grabbing the pillows and chewing them up, but he is also a puppy, so I might just have to wait it out. But I'm sad because I really like the way they looked. I finally got something pretty for my bed, but it just wasn't my time.
so that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for being here and spending this time with me if you did enjoy this one please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you are new don't forget to download love and pies using my link down below in the description box and i will see you all next friday with a brand new video bye guys mm -hmm.